Good morning all. New printed circuit boards from JLC PCB and these will enable me to build my new battery. There are 20 PCBs in here so let's get them out and have a look at them. And here they are, Cell Connect. Now this is probably the simplest PCB I've ever made. There is in fact just one net on here one connection and it connects to everything the four holes the two copper planes on both sides there are some vias there to sort of punch through the board not entirely sure whether they're necessary but um <laughs> that's it it's just a bus bar it's a connecting board there's so little to say about these in fact that i think i should just get straight on and put them on my battery pack um, and start building this battery up so that I can take it out to the shed and use it in place of the bicycle battery. So these boards simply go uh, in this position here. I've made them slightly bigger, you can see, and that is so that they sit on these little plastic ridges on the uh, holding pieces, the holding assembly. Uh, these were just a little bit too short. These are 60 millimeters by 60 millimeters. So let's place all these on. And of course they have to go in uh, the same position as these upper boards. And then I'll link the lower and upper boards with little connecting wires. I've made some of them like that. So there's gonna be a lot of soldering today. Now the reason I've made so many of these is because I might at some point build uh, another pair of rows down at the bottom of this battery so there'll be another row of these further down uh, that's why i've made 20 i wanted to have plenty in stock i can always buy more of these cells and more of these black plastic holders so to start with this is just an exercise in digging out nuts and washers from here and putting them on these boards so how has the solar crypto accumulation machine been working well it's been fine it's just that the um, December was a very cloudy month and there were long gaps between days where there was any significant sunlight. And uh, so <laughs> the gaps between generation of my tuppences have been quite long. In fact, let's go to the computer and take a look at that. So here in prohashing.com, I've set up um, an account specifically for my solar crypto accumulation machine and uh, this shows the uh, runs of the uh, bit bitmain ant miner uh, since november 21st and you can see here that um, there was quite a bit of sun at that time because some of these blue lines are up in the four us cents five us cents then there are gaps and those are the cloudy days but december was truly awful Gap of four days there, gap of five or six days there, and a gap of what eight days there with no sun, just nothing. And so it didn't mine. Uh, that was a one penny mine. You can ignore these red lines because they are uh, electricity, well, theoretical electricity usage. Of course, there is no electricity usage because this is running purely on solar. I should get rid of these red lines, really, they're not helping. And then recently we've had uh, a reasonable amount of sunshine. So we've got uh, a mining session every day again, just missed out a day there. So yeah, it's not doing too, I mean, it certainly works. It works, there just isn't a lot of sun to turn into electricity, to turn into crypto. So when I start using this bigger battery, I think this is about twice the size or twice the capacity uh, of the bicycle battery that's in the shed at the moment, it will mine four pence or five pence every time it runs. But of course it will run less frequently because it will take longer to fill this bigger battery up with juice than it does the current battery. And so I've been thinking, what's the optimum size of the solar panel, the optimum size of the battery? And uh, well, the ant miner, Yes, I suppose what's the optimum power rating of the crypto miner? And I think as far as the solar panel goes, well, the bigger the better, really. There's nothing more to it than that. But the battery is interesting because 
you could have a very small battery. It would fill up quickly, mine a short duration of crypto mining, and then uh, it would be empty. And then, of course, it would fill up again and you could get several mining runs during one sunny day. So I'm just starting to think now a huge battery bank isn't really necessary. In fact, I've started to think of this sort of in terms of a capacitor. It's not a capacitor, of course. But if we think about how capacitors work, they, they're temporary short-term storage of electricity, of energy, but they also do other things like filtering and timing, creating timing intervals. Now the ant miner takes about a minute to two minutes to boot up before it actually starts mining. So if we had a battery that only stored one minute of solar energy, then the ant miner would forever be booting up and would never actually do any mining. So we need enough energy storage to have a mining run that is sufficiently long that the small amount of time taken to boot the miner up becomes insignificant, perhaps 1%. So if we had, uh, say, one minute to boot the miner up and 100 minutes of run time, we'd have 99 minutes of actual mining. So on that basis of having the boot time be about 1% of the total uh, storage period of the battery, then I'm kind of thinking about an hour, hour and a half, two hours would be optimum. And I think this battery will run that small ant miner for about two hours. And of course, if I go to a bigger ant miner, I'll need a bigger battery. But it has struck me that um, once I set my solar panel size and the amount of ant mining power that I want to pull, that kind of defines how big the battery needs to be, but it doesn't really need to be any bigger than that. So those are my thoughts uh, in terms of size of battery uh, for the moment. Right, now I need to link the top section uh, to the bottom section because there's nothing physically linking top and bottom at the moment, and I'm going to use link wires for that and I could uh, actually bridge across with other PCBs. Is that a good idea? It would save me having to make all those uh, link wires. Yeah, my only concern with this is whether or not this coating actually sits higher on the PCB than the tinning of the pad. It's, I would guess the tinning would sit higher than the uh, solder resist. But it does, I just wonder about how well that contact will make with that contact if I put the PCBs on there. Perhaps I'll start making up some of these link wires and just see how long it takes. Um, I think I need 16 in total, don't I? Something like that. These are a bit long, really. There's a bit of a, a bend in there, unnecessarily long bend. I think I might, uh, I think these were something like five centimeters was the length I cut the wire to. Might try cutting it to four and see how that goes. Well, that's eight little link wires made. So that's that side done. So let's flip this thing over by rotating it round. It's getting quite heavy now. Put it down on there. And here I'm going to need 10 link wires. Mm, let's get on with it. Right, there are 10 links now on this side. So that's 18 links <laughs> I've made in total. Uh, it took about two hours or something like that. So I think the next thing I want to put on here is the uh, active balancer. Now that's going to sit on the top. And I think what I'm going to do is get the active balancer PCB and have some wires coming out the back and some coming out the front to all these various holes here and just sit it hovering in midair above here and I think this wire yeah this stuff here which I've got uh, a reel of used it for the solar charge controllers originally is sort of stiff enough that the board will just sit on the top and shouldn't flop down uh, unless this gets very floppy in the heat of summer, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, there's some sun on the solar panel 
at the moment so this machine might be running let's check it out oh I think it was and it's just finished so um, but there is solar energy coming in into those batteries but it might be a good idea actually to leave them in a discharge state since I'm going to be decommissioning them now so I'll take the solar power off by taking this bulb out of circuit so the solar power is no longer entering the battery I can disconnect these connections and start removing this battery uh, ready for putting in the new bigger battery right I've attached the uh, flying capacitors balancer on the top and it's kind of just flying it's sitting on flying leads and it's just sort of held up by the rigidity of these cables now the light has come on <laughs> I heard a couple of sort of pops and bangs well not bangs but sort of mild pops as I was doing this soldering and bits of wire were touching things and solder was touching things so I hope it's still working it uh, has the run light on but yes it's just going to sit up on top of uh, this pack uh, floating on those wires so I will carry on doing that hope to complete that and get this battery uh, balanced on here then I can attach a, attach a balancing uh, leads so I can attach my monitor device so I can see all the voltages and uh, we can see if this thing is being brought into balance but yeah that's got some good rigidity to it and when all nine wires are on this should be uh, sat there really unable to flop down I'm just interested to know whether high temperatures would make it do that but for the moment it's looking good I'm going to carry on soldering Right, I've got all nine wires on the active balancer. It feels pretty solid up there. Uh, if I tip it down, you can see that it sits above the uh, battery pack just like that, held by nothing more, because there are no mounting screws on that thing. So held by nothing more than the wires that run down to the individual cells. The run light is on, although I, I felt the solder when I was, was, was soldering get warm because it was touching various points on the battery pack so uh, I hope this is still working um, but I think that's all about all I'm going to do for this video which was essentially about these boards uh, they're on they're connected together with these links um, so I will continue this in the next video but uh, for this video cheerio